So, let's see if I can time this right for once. Dang it, I never time it right. Ah, it drives me crazy. Anyway. <laughs> one day. One day I will time it right, and it'll be magical. Alright, I think we can use the cauldron over here to save ourselves a bit of time. So let's go over here and do that. Save ourselves bits of time. Whoopsies. Yay. Alright, so last time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last time we opened up the next places that we need to go, which is, the first one is Freeze Easy Peak. But we needed an item from um, Gobi's Desert, so we went and did that. I didn't time it right again. Wow. You know what, Mikey? I tried, okay? But anyway, we got the item we need so that we can play through Freeze Easy Peak without having to backtrack. So, that's what we're going to do. Um, I don't... You know what? Actually, I'm pretty sure that the thing that's up at the top there is a switch inside the level. So, I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just go ahead on in. And, uh, yeah. Okay, got another new move. It's up here, it's just a golden feather. Some eggs back here. Also, hi Mikey, how you doing? Welcome. <laughs> uh, let's go in here. Ugh, ugh. Oh no, everybody's sad. Okay. Apparently they uh, are sad because they got no Christmas presents. Isn't that, isn't that terrible? Well, maybe we can find their dad and figure out what's all going on with that. But in the meantime, let's head on down here. Oh, let me guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, he ate a shiny thing. Let me guess, a jiggy? Real shiny, Captain. Uh, okay. Well, we'll see if we can't help him out. Oh, God. Yeah, not a big fan of these guys. In fact, not a fan at all. Hate him. Hate him. Alright, we're going to run around behind here. Get these notes so we don't have to backtrack for those as we do whoa frick you evil ice cubes of doom we've been making really good time with this game though the last two sessions um we've cleared four levels so Doing pretty well obviously things will slow down a bit as we uh get deeper into this All right, so let's talk to uh, Bottles. Mm-hmm. Beak Bomb, this is what I was talking about. I think in Treasure Trove Cove, I said there's an ability that lets you launch forward. And uh, that's, uh, that's what this is gonna do for us. Sweet. Well done indeed. All right. So what we can do is kill these guys now, if we aim right. Oh, there's a switch. Nice. But we want to try to kill all these guys in, in one go if we can, because not only is that worth a jiggy, but they're also really annoying. So the sooner we get rid of them, the better. Nice. Extra honeycomb piece over there. Let's just keep on keeping on. Ooh, that lineup was beautiful. If I do say so myself. I think this is the last guy already. Sir Slush is what they're called, by the way. Yep. That 
puts a jiggy way the frick up there. Before we go all the way up there, let's uh, let's take care of stuff a little closer to home. Uh, where's the buttons? Oh, I'm on the wrong side, aren't I? Did I go past him? I did. All right. Okay. Press all the buttons. You're pressing my buttons. Ha 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 ha. Uh. Oh, I missed. Whoa, hey. All right, we're running low on feathers. I may have to go pick some up pretty soon. But I want to get this over with while we're here. Yeah, and that puts a jiggy down there. And we'll pick all this stuff up as we go. But we need to get all the way up to the top. Hi, Jinjo. All the way up to the top. All the way up to the top. Fight this dude. What? No way that didn't. The Ratatat rap failed me. There's this other ice cube. There he is. What? These guys are full crap, I tell you. All right. And the first Jiggy that we collect, even though we've got a couple of them laying around, is up here. So let's grab these musical notes and we'll start working our way down the snowman here. This is one of those levels that I know pretty well. I feel like this one's gonna go faster than some. Although, there's a couple of things, well, mainly a race that we have to do that's probably going to take a bit of time. Um, I think we can just drop down here, right? Hey, look, it's one of the presents. Give me to someone sad. It's really, really kind of sad just in general thinking about that. Oh, I forgot about the Jinjo on the broom. Oh, well, it's okay. Um... Let's actually go over here. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> that was scary. Go <laughs> All right, and then... Uh, let's get all this stuff, I guess. So we need some feathers. We need these notes, obviously. I don't think I can get that Jinjo from here. I might be able to. Risky, but eh, okay. Yeah, we can. All right, let's get back on this spot. And we might as well grab all these, right? Okay, camera. <laughs> Can't see. There we go. So much whistling, oh my god, feathers. I need them all, so. Beg your pardon. Look at that guy over there with a the jiggy just dancing around. I'm sure, we'll talk to him in a bit. Get fricked. That's a lot of honeycombs that we'll leave for now. Okay, I think we should start getting all this stuff that we've got laying around that we haven't gotten. Uh, I don't need that. Um, the stuff that was like under the sort of slushes and all that. By the way, the water is icy and hurts, so you don't want to get in it if you can help it. <laughs> all right. Uh. That Sir Slush had an extra honey gold piece. Now you'll notice there's some musical notes here. It's because we need a certain transformation that's going to enable us to get into that icy water safely. We're not quite there yet though. I'll get to that. I'm gonna clean up all the stuff on the outside and do the flying stuff that we still have to do. Uh, huh. Long jump. That's messy. Alright. 
Musical notes. Oh look, a jiggy. That was from the button pushing, right? Already at three. And over the halfway point on the musical notes too. Like I said, this level will probably go pretty quickly. At least I hope so. There's one one thing that'll be a, probably a bit of a hang up, but other than that, I feel pretty good about things. These are we out on feathers? Yeah, grab all these. And grab these two. Uh, this one also can be time consuming. This mission right here with the gift box. Uh, I'll leave that to like next to last. Let's get the last of the flying out of the way. Oh wait, oh, the switch. No, not that switch, this switch. Yeah, see that's the thing outside the level that I was talking about. I knew there was gonna be something we were gonna have to do with that. All right, we wasted a feather flying over there, but eh. It's all good. Oh, good, baby, baby. All right, um, fly up, fly up, fly up, fly up. Obviously, I could have climbed up the other side of the scarf and saved the feathers, but I mean, let's be real. I'm lazy. Hey, James, welcome to the stream. How you doing, buddy? All right, so we're going to jump on this. Here we go. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, so he's the one that we're gonna have to race. I talked about that before. Alright. Uh let's go back in here. What are we do what are we doing next? You know what? I said I was gonna leave this, but let's just go ahead and do it. Because I'm going to have to take to this guy again and do some other stuff uh, with the top of the tree. But I could get it over with right now. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm... <laughs> this one's going to be a bit of a problem, I dare say. Yeah, I think, whoops, oh, this is going to go badly for me. I think this one's going to go badly for me. Never been super good at this one. Wow, that, that seemed unfair. We might be alright. A low rat attack wrap will work well, but it's easy to overshoot. I think we're okay though. Yeah, we got it on the first try. Nice. 20 seconds to spare, in fact. Your YouTube channel started out with a cat video. Nice. You are you are playing the YouTube game already. Time to get them sweet ad. Uh, views. Ad views? Sweet views. Ad revenue. Whatever. You know what I mean. Let's uh, hit this. Be a star and you'll find your reward. Okay, so this is where we have to fly through the star. We only have a set amount of time to do it. But luckily the flight pad's right over here. Nothing too crazy. Over here. Oh god, oh god, don't overshoot. There you go. Go through it again. Whoopsie. That was. Ah, uh, come on. No! 
No. I've never done that before. This, this will mark the, you know what? I just have to wait for the time to run out. This is the very first time that I've ever blown this without getting it right the first time. Wow. I did have to, I jinxed myself about how much time I was saving. It's okay. Just don't, don't be Buster again and we'll be all right. Okay, do it this time. Earn. There we go. Flame. Uh, was there something else I needed to fly to? I can't remember. I'm gonna say no. So let's just go ahead and drop down. And uh, get inside here. Come boke him. He can boke him indeed. Oh, it's the termites. Take me to the kids. I'm the last one. Will do, buddy. Will do. I'm just killing all these termites. There we go. Uh, okay. Musical notes. Seventy-seven of those already. Might as well fill up on these while we can. And up here. Don't really need the eggs, so let's just get the jiggy. And be on our way. I'm pretty sure I can just drop here. <laughs> That's a quick way down. Okay. Uh, what's next? What's next? I think we're going to want to go see Mumbo now. Uh, we'll go up this path, though, and grab these. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is it with cats and Mothra? Okay. So, yeah, he doesn't like us. We can't get his jiggy and we can't go in there to see what's up, unfortunately. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I think we should go see Mumber Jumber. Let's go do that. And... There's actually two different ways you can go, but personally, I would rather uh, fly there. Frankly, I prefer the sky. Or, fr frankly, I prefer the air. What is it Falco says? God dang it. I feel dumb for not remembering. The skies? I think it's the skies. Frankly, I prefer the skies. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Um, oh, wait, no. I thought these rubber boots were on this side. They're not. So, flying is the preferable way across. Anyway, let's get on with it. Time for a new transformation. Hey, Colin Red. How are you doing? One Jinjo left. Bye, Colin Red. <laughs> One Jinjo, 13 musical notes. Okay. Her, her. Yeah, very funny. So now we're this little guy who can't defend himself, but he's immune to the icy waters, and that's kind of the whole point. So we're going to make our way over here. Also, we need to talk to Waza, the scared walrus, and we need to talk to Boggy the bear. Uh, I think that's all in this area. I'm just gonna go around and, like I said, get all the uh, all the musical notes I couldn't get to. Things like this. I guess I'll grab. Mostly just looking for 
the notes, and I think there might be an underwater bumbo token somewhere. He's kind of slow, but he is a walrus, so I guess can't expect too much, huh? I swear I saw a, uh, a mumbo token underwater. Oh yeah, over here. I thought so. We're still making good time though, even with the tree flub up. <laughs> Very good time indeed. Uh, yeah, I don't, I can't remember if there's notes over here or anything. Just gonna look around. Oh, hi. I would have missed you hiding over there. I forgot that even existed. Again, those don't count toward 100%, but I just like to try to get them all, and I remember in my original LP that I missed one or two. I think just one. Um, but yeah. So I, I kind of like to be able to say I get all of those, even though it's really only the notes and the jiggies and the extra honeycomb pieces that count toward the 100%. Pretty sure. Actually, it might just be the notes and jiggies for that matter. I don't know. Um, woo he. Alright, let's go see Waza, and then we'll go talk to Boggy. And then we'll just about be done. Hey. Wow. Alright, so we get that one, and now we can go in here. And see his cave. Indeed I will. I'll steal all your crap. I hear a Jinjo, which we'll have to come back for is Baron Bird. But there's an area over here we need to go through as Mr. the Walrus. Look at here. Another extra honeycomb piece. Now we can't fight this thing. We don't really need to, but I would like to get the uh, the extra life. Hey, over here. Piece of crap. No, over over here. Wow, well, whatever. I'll just do it this way. He actually doesn't care if I'm back there, so it's fine. Moving on. Uh, where are we at here? We're missing four musical notes. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Jinjo's one. Wait, let's see, we need four more Jiggies. So that Jinjo up there's one. Two races with Boggy. And then giving his kids the presents. Pretty sure. Well, wait, is the last. I can't remember if they're both Jiggies now. See you, James. Have a good one. Can I climb this? Oh, I can. That seems not right somehow. Um, okay. Well, we'll make our way over to Sea Boggy then. He's over here. Somewhere. Oh, up there. Doom, do, 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 do. Um, I'm trying to think where these other musical notes are, though. I feel like I've missed them somewhere. Uh, hmm. Oh, maybe it's up that, that last hill where the boggy race ends. That, that could be. We'll find it. Oh, no, they're up here. Never mind. Well, it was one of two places I hadn't been, so. Had to be in one of them, right? We good, we good. There they are. All one hundo. Hey, Boggy. 
Indeed, let's go. Now these races can be pretty annoying, just so you know. It's really difficult. Sometimes you want to like block him to stay in front of him. Uh, it can be difficult though. And you obviously don't want to miss. Yep, he just made me miss one. Pretty sure I can't win, in fact. But I'll try. Actually, maybe. It's Maybe it's the second race where one mistake cost you. Because actually, I think I might be okay. It's a bit of rubber banding, though, because he, he'll, come, he'll come back pretty quickly if you get too far ahead of him, it seems. But yeah, I think we're going to be fine. As long as I don't make any more mistakes. Oh, he pushed me. He's pushing me. Push and mate. Piece of crap. He pushed me out of the way, man. Oh well, but I did have that mistake, so we'll have to uh Yeah yeah yeah. We'll try it again. Whoa, camera, what are you doing? Alright, here we go. not make that mistake again. Okay. Didn't make the mistake, therefore you save time, but like I say, it's like rubber banding. He should he should He'll probably still be at the exact same point behind us as he was before. Actually, I think he's closer somehow this time, which makes no sense, but whatever. It's a thing that's happening, apparently. Push me out of the way. Oh, jump past him! Woo! It's crazy how much that... <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't make a mistake and I actually was behind more than I was coming to the end the last time. Wow. This is a crazy game sometimes. Alright. Grab this over here. Not that we needed it. And now we need to switch back to the Baron Bird. Eh. Eh. Okay. Switch back to Banjo and Kazooie. Get the final stuff in. Um, Waza's cave and then we'll uh, race Boggy one more time with the item that we went to Gobi's Desert to acquire which is of course the running shoes. Alright, turn me back. Donka. Alright. That's when we're going to need these to get across the cold water. Wow. Not last long here. Alright. We'll go this way, I guess. Get us closer. wonder if I can cheat on this side passage. Nope! Well, we're gonna take damage. 
<laughs> you Tom Sawyered your way out of it. Nice. Okay. Well, uh, let's uh, let's grab some health. Not that we really need it, need it, but the thing is, um, if we die, I'd have to come back in here and deal with the search slushes again, and nobody really wants to do that. All right, all right, all right. Go into Waz's cave. He's not going to be happy to see us. Hey. Look what's behind me there. Does that look, look like anything I might have talked about before? Yep. So, along with the secret eggs, there's the ice key. Now, in the N64 version of this game, you could see this ice key behind a wall of ice that you could not open. And in this version, you can. Yep. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, I think that's it in here, so let's go. And we're at, uh, are we at nine for this place? No, eight. Oh, Boggy's kids, right, right, right. We'll get them on the way out. They can cry a bit longer, <laughs> so, so wrong. Uh. Let's run over here. We got to race Boggy again this time as Banjo and Kazoo with the running shoes. And honestly, it might be a little trickier, but I don't know. Actually, we'll find out. No, 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 no. Oh, what? I was at the very edge of that slope. Wow. Game. Yeah. Yep. So he's faster, but so are we. So it just makes the, cor uh, the course harder. Okay, I made a mistake there, but I'm pretty sure we can come back from it. If last time taught me anything, it's that realism isn't isn't a thing when it comes to how far behind you are in this game, or this race. Okay. He's gonna try to do the same thing, pushing us away and all that stuff. If we touch the water, for example, we'd lose our shoes inst instantly, so we don't want that. But a bit of shortcut there. And we went on the first try. Yes! Woo! It's a little late to look for your kids' presents, honestly. Because I've already done it. Nice, James. Alright. Alright. The last thing we'll do is give Boggy's kids the presents. And we will have 100%ed Freeze Easy Peak in about 30 minutes. 30-ish. Which, um, honestly, is is really good time. Uh, with a couple of flub-ups, we had to do the Walrus Race um, twice. And I messed up the top of the tree thing. But otherwise, we, uh, we did pretty well, I think. Uh-huh. There you go. Yay. Oh, boggy. 
All right. We did it. We completed the level. Beautifully done, if I do say so myself. And now we're going to attempt to do the same thing in Gobi's Desert. Um, a little bit more difficult. Definitely, I think, more difficult. All right. There's a Sir Slush out here now, too, which is not pleasant, honestly. Uh, oh, this. Yeah. Um, we'll do that last. First, I want to go up here and get this uh, Jiggy that we opened with the Switch. Uh, what am I doing? Okay. Beg your pardon? Oh, wait. No, I have to do this to get this. That's right. <laughs> I forgot. Uh. Okay. So we have to actually get to that within 12 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. This one's pretty difficult, honestly. Whew. Got it. All right. Uh, yeah, okay. So we gotta go in here. We'll take the upper path. It's easier to not lose your flight. We'll need to do this again for a switch jiggy. But for now it's fine. And that's our sixth of the layer jiggies, which is cool. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the other one's a switch jiggy. I, I could be remembering that wrong, but... Aw, oh, man. Oh, well, I was just going to kill him. It, we didn't need to, but I was just going to. All right, whatever. Later on, we'll deal with the other, the other thing. I think it's the switch for... Not the next level, but the one after that. But it puts a um, uh, a jiggy in that glass eye of Gruntilda, and then you want to beak bomb your way into it. So that's what that's all about. Um, right. So I think the next thing we need to do then is wait. Uh, is it here? Yeah, okay, it's this way. Oh, right, the... Need the rubber shoes, rubber boots. gonna ignore Gobi's Valley I kept saying Gobi's Desert well the real thing is Gobi Desert this is Gobi's Valley I'm dumb sorry anyway so we were in here briefly before we uh, we learned the uh, the move for the the running shoes and uh, then we we left we didn't collect a single item so we still have to get everything in here Starting with him, because he was the closest. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't think there's anything here that we need to worry about, really. But I'll grab these feathers, because there's a bit of flying to do here. That tree guy there in the middle, we can't do anything with right now. And those are just eggs, right? Uh, let's double check that there's not a mumbo token. That would be the kind of place they would normally put such a thing, but no, okay. Well, we'll talk to you anyway. Hi. Poor Troniker. Alright. So you can't do that. 
We're gonna have to bring the water to him somehow. We're gonna see the new enemy for this area. Mommy hands. They take two ratatat reps. Nothing too crazy. Okay, we're gonna need the boots to get in there because that sand is fiery, melty hot. So we don't wanna have to deal with that. Oops. Just grabbing the collectibles here. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll do this because it's the closest. Oh god. Okay, got out of it pretty quickly. Oh, it's, it's because it's full of those guys. I thought it was, be you know what? It's been so long since I've actually seen that that I forgot that that's what the deal was. All right, we're not gonna use the flight pad yet. We're actually gonna come over here. And we're gonna go hit. And reminiscent of Clanker's Cavern, we have to help him out, just not with his teeth, but the same kind of thing. Oh, I'm wasting them. Need one per side. <laughs> Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, we got all those we need. Alright, and here we go. And we got a bit of stuff to take care of in here. Let's grab these musical notes on the bottom layer before we worry about anything else. So I don't have to backtrack for them. Bumbo token. We'll grab a couple eggs. Oh, God. Oh, and yeah. If they fall flat, you can kill them that way, too. We forgot about that. Grab a few eggs to top off because we do need them more in this section than we have been needing them. Okay. We'll get up here on this magic carpet. Go. Hello. Oh, I I should have jumped to the next one. My bad. You stay up only a limited time. Yep. Wait. Oh, make it. Oh, ho, 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 that was close. Okay, we're good. All good. And there's the cheeky. Uh, okay. Can we drop some frames somewhere? Sorry about that. I'm not sure why that happened. Might have happened like right at the beginning, I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's make our way outside. We're done in here. And what's next? Is this guy back? No, okay. Uh, what's next? I guess we can take the flight pad on his back and, and kind of cruise around and see what the next thing we want to deal with is. Or, you know what, since we're right here, now, let's do this. Let's get these musical notes. Gonna grab this extra life, just, like I said, we don't need this to quote unquote 100% it, I just like to get it. We'll refresh the boots. <laughs> Didn't feel like we had enough uh, space there. 
Uh, and yeah, let's uh, let's grab this stuff that we can flying around, like going through this guy's poop here. Ugh. Summon all the hidden rings. Okay. Sure. It's not a time limit, so there's no rush. I'm gonna grab this mumbo token right here. I think there's an extra honeycomb piece here. No, there's not. I thought there was for some reason in here. Uh, we'll get to you in a second. Do, 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 do. Alright, where's the other ancient guy then that was just talking? Where the frick did he go? I am blind, apparently. Oh look, there's a Jiggy just sitting there. That's totally not a trap or anything. Where the frick is this other ancient guy? What? Wait, is he all the way at the beginning? Is that what it is? Maybe. Oh no, there he is. <laughs> He's behind the cactuses. Sorry, the cacti. My bad. I spoke. All right, and now over there. Yep. We were even facing the right way, beautiful. Okay, and that's... What's that? Oh, over here. No, don't touch the ground. Ah, oh, frick you. Wow. You went a long way to hit me. The crap. Oh well, now I have to go back to the stupid flying pad again. Makes me mad. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> I love the music in this game. It's so good. It's not just nostalgia either. It's just a brilliant, brilliant soundtrack. Anyway, yeah, I didn't think I'd hit the mountain. I was just trying to save some time, beak bomb my way halfway over there, but. Clip the mountain and landed. Okay, that's back behind here again. Okay, this time I think I can safely do this. Yep. Saved a bit of time, I think. You need to get lower. There we go. Just a jiggy. It'll have to do. Okay, I'm actually gonna grab this. We used up a few feathers there. <clears throat> Alright, two jiggies. And like I said, this place is a little bit more complicated, a little bit more difficult. So it's, it's not gonna be as fast as uh, Freeze Easy Peak was. Um, but I'm going to do my best to get through it in this session because we've been doing such a good job of, uh, okay, of, uh, you know, clearing two levels each time. But that is going to get more difficult, so fair warning. Fair freaking warning. Um, okay, well, I guess we'll do this. But you can't guess what I gotta do. <laughs> Not that! That's more like it. <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny, actually. Oh, get off. Could you get off, please? Alright, let's go in here. <laughs> that was so funny. It's like... But you can't guess what we're gonna do, and then completely just messed it up. Let's grab the collectibles first, and we'll talk to them. Bit of a time saver. Alright, what's up?
Ah, okay. Well, this is where we need this basket. We need to catch the attention of a uh, snake. Lovely, isn't it? Whoops. Be one more. Yeah. Thanks. Yay. Thanks. Alright, so that's that place done. Pop back up here and grab these feathers. Uh, that's where we learn about the speedy shoes, so we don't have to talk to bottles again. And I believe that was the only move. Didn't he say we learned all the moves now? So, I think we have to worry about that anymore. Uh, so, we need boots to get that stuff, which I don't know where the nearest ones are. Those over there would oh, did you see him teleport? That was bull crap. Dodged him, but it was bull, bull crap. Run in a circle. Welcome to the stream. All right, let's deal with this. Remember we saw a jiggy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bear's too slow. But guess what we need? We need running shoes. Oh, there's some, uh... It's probably the boots we need to get those musical notes. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do that, in fact. Might as well, right? Um, okay. <laughs> Not sure what you mean, but okay. It's gonna be cutting it close. Ooh, very close indeed. But yeah, we need the running shoes to be faster. And I can't remember where the nearest ones are, actually. It's perplexing. Are they up here, maybe? I can't remember. What am I doing? I can't get up there. On the side. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I guess we'll look around and see if we can find some running shoes. Oh, wait, they're up here, aren't they? Yeah. Alright, so we'll grab these and we'll go for it. Just don't fall in the sand, yeah. Got it. <laughs> I've had that a thousand years. Now he's gonna attack us. Watch. Hmm? You're not gonna attack us? Really? I just sworn you did. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Alright. Uh, let's go over here. Boop. I think we need those shoes again. Hi. Oh, what? How the... Hmm. It's bullcrap. Alright, come on. What the frick? That's some bullcrap hitboxes right there. Frick you. I've been hit twice. I kind of want to get those without angering the uh, bees. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Okay. Uh, oh, right. Right, 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 right. Let's grab this just in case I forget it. Uh, I don't think I actually can possibly forget it, but yeah, so we need the running shoes here. That's right. We need to hit that and switch and then run to the top of that pyramid, which is that the next thing I want to do? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Uh, they posted a few times, uh, Juan, but otherwise I think, I think, uh, I think they've stopped. No big deal, but thanks for, for the warning and welcome to the stream. Okay, we can come back for the uh, 
musical notes. We're gonna have to cut some corners if we. Well, I just blew that. Never mind. <sighs> you want to cut corners a little bit to get to the top, but I, uh, I definitely messed up, which is my bad. They didn't make you watch the cutscene while the time ticked down. It wouldn't be nearly so bad. Alright, so see this mumbo token right here? This is the one I missed in my old original playthrough because the water comes down once you collect this jiggy and never goes back up even if you exit the level. Um, wait, what? What are you talking about, Juan? Are you saying that's your account? And why would you want me to ban you? That doesn't make any sense. Please don't cause trouble. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, so I'm lucky that I was able to grab that this time because it's a one-shot deal to get that uh, that Mumbo token. All right, so now there's water there, which is going to be useful for other things. Oh yeah, I forgot. We have to kill these guys with these. Hey. What? All right, let's uh, let's go back out here, and now we gotta climb back up to get the stuff that we uh, could not get before. We don't need to hit the switch though. We just need to get the uh, musical notes. Past halfway on musical notes already, which is good. Very good. You don't have to worry about. Beautiful. Um. All right. So from here, I guess we'll just uh, go down like this and grab all these musical notes. Now, obviously, there's stuff in the water. Also, flight pads. For some reason, I don't remember why those are there. Grab all these musical notes. Feathers, but we're not quite topped off on those, so we'll grab them. There we go. Graphical glitch there. Alright. And alright. Now there's a thing that rises up from here if we do a certain thing, I remember. But since I'm kind of hunting for stuff... Oh yeah, it's these guys. We have to feed them eggs or whatever. But since I'm on the hunt for these, I'm just going to grab these while I'm here. Because we might as well, right? I hear a Jinjo. Hi. That's three of those now. Oh, that's what puts the, uh, yeah. It puts the uh, honeycomb piece in that spot that I was looking before inside that cactus. I was like, isn't there a honeycomb piece? It is when you hit that button and then you have a short amount of time to get to a flight pad and, uh, yeah, fly over to it. Um... Anything else on the side here to collect? No. Uh, let's get on this, I guess. Oh, God. That's frustrating. It looked like I was passing through it because it wasn't solidified yet, so I jumped off. I wanted to go over there to the little island place. All right, let's wait. Poof. 
You really have to get on this thing. No messing around. Hey. And here's Gobi of said valley. Yay. Alright, unfortunately, we're gonna have to uh, make his day a little worse after making it better. Uh, we're gonna take damage. It's okay. We'll live. Matter of fact, I think there's a couple, uh, a couple musical notes over here. Or musical notes. <laughs> A couple of honeycomb pieces, or a honeycomb piece. You just have to not get hit by the bees. Alright. You can kill the bees with golden feathers, but it's a bit of a waste, honestly. Uh, should I get, yeah, I'll get the stuff underwater. Like, since I'm kind of min-maxing right now and getting all these things, I should, uh, get this part over with, right? What is with this? Flight pads never made any sense to me. Pretty sure I never knew why those were there. But oh hi! <laughs> I forgot that's where you were. Alright, four, and that's it. Up we go. That gasp. Uh. Okay, let's go back to that little pyramid. Not this one. This one over here. And we'll take care of the deal inside of it, which is a kind of a frustrating little puzzle. But uh we'll see if we can't do do it. Uh let's uh let's kill him first because he's gonna be in the in the way, big time. Get the collectibles. Okay, uh, do I just hit this to start it? Yes, I do. It's a, it's a match game. We have a hundred seconds to match all the things. Like I said, it can be annoying, but I think we can do it. Okay, there's one match. I haven't seen that one yet. Okay, there's Kazooie. Who was here, right? Yep. Oh, an egg. Okay. Right up here. Nope. Didn't jump. Oh, those are right next to each other. That's good. Egg. What is this again? Honeycomb. What about this one? Banjo. Okay. I don't know where that is. Feather, feather, mumbo, mumbo, honeycomb and honeycomb with 38 seconds, my lucky number 38, left on the clock. Beautiful. I don't know, I have these memories of these things being more challenging, but not too bad, honestly. We had plenty of time to have made even more mistakes. <laughs> And how it closes behind you like not only do you really not ever need to go back in there but well I guess you would if you forgot to get the collectibles and so they want to just annoy you by having to make you do that again uh, so I guess we'll hit that thing go get the flight pad and get the extra honeycomb piece because we're close to this right so we might as well right, be ready to go Oh, it's not timed. <laughs> I thought it was timed. I was prepared to like really boogie to get there, but you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway just to get it over with because um, I might forget it otherwise and I don't wanna do that. I did drop a few more frames. Not a ton, but I wonder why it did that actually. It does have me wondering. Okay. 
hope we're lined up right for this. Actually, let's do something crazy. Ah! <laughs> that was fun. It hurt, but it was fun. Uh, wait, do I see... Oh no, that's the edge of the flight pad down there. I was gonna say, do I see like some uh, mumbo token or something? But no, I did not. All right. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is ooh, shoot the eggs in this guy's mouth. Hi. Okay. A little at a time, the pyramid will grow. We just have to keep feeding these guys. Whoop, whoop. Whoop! Why did that happen? Wow, that was a waste. Wasted golden feather, man. accidentally trying to change the camera after I'm crouching and that's you know the right stick is also the power-ups when you're crouching uh, it's so frustrating there we go okay um What we got here? Seven of ten. Okay. Eighty-eight of a hundred, one of two. Right. I don't want to go into that pyramid just yet. It's uh, it's a bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, let's go ahead and do. I mean, we could have done this on our way out, to be honest. But let's just go ahead and do it, I guess. Sorry, buddy. Cut him off where he could finish. He said he needed all his water, but if you stomp on him, he'll give the water to Trunker. Um, and then we need to go over to another tree. And on the leaf. And huh. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Alright, two left. I'm gonna do this. So I needed some extra health. And I'm just gonna save myself some time to run with these. Uh, what do I need? Oh, I need a flight pad. That's what I needed. Alright, let's kill those for it. Run myself into the lava, or the lava, the sand, quick sand, hot sand, burning sands. That's what it is, burning sands. Uh, okay. Um, and we're gonna go over here. And look, there's poor Gobi again. Uh, hey, buddy. I thought he would say something, but unfortunately, we gotta hit him again. Oh, wow. Random person online on Xbox Live. I say random because half the time I don't remember who I've added as a friend on there. Hey, health up! Wow. We have seven now. Sweet. Alright, let's go in here. Because... You hear that music, it's another stop and swap item. Yep. Start the... Yep. 
See, this was another thing. In the original game, you couldn't get into this room. There was a door there, but there, there's no way to get into it. Not without the cheat codes, obviously. But, like, naturally, they're open in this where they weren't in the other one. That's basically what I was getting at. All right, I think I need to wait for the magic carpet. Pretty sure I can't safely get down from here. Hey, magic carpet. And thank you. All right. So, two more jiggies and a few more notes. Let me just do a quick perimeter sweep before we head into that big pyramid, just to make sure I didn't miss any notes. Uh, check trees or just feathers. That one has nothing. Am I topped off on the feathers? I've just noticed. I am not actually, okay. I'm gonna grab these. Might as well. Alright, um, say a quick perimeter. Whoa, 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 good grief. It all turned around. Uh, doesn't look like anything important. Looks like everything that we need to deal with is gonna probably be inside this pyramid. Go to the top just to see. Yeah, not seeing anything. Nothing jumping out at me anyway. Alright, in we go. Pink Sandy Butts Tune. So once we walk out there, we're kind of under this time limit where we're going to die if we don't get through it. Um, and it's a bit of a maze. But we need stuff that's in here. Uh, so that makes it kind of a, kind of a scary thing, for sure. So I don't remember where this stuff is. I used to know the exact path I needed to go. Unfortunately, not so much anymore. There's a, I'd say there's a grunty switch, I know. Yeah, there's another layer jiggy. This may get us killed, though. I don't know if I can get back in time. Definitely can't. Uh, uh, oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. That's all the notes. All the notes. Mumbo token. And there's the last gym jump. I can't remember though, did I get everything I needed out of the maze? Um, there's the last diggy. Double check. Okay, so that's everything that they care about for the totals. But is that... Uh, was there a mumbo token in there? Can I go back in without it trying to kill me? Let me see. Well, it gives me the time to check around, I guess. God oh, dang it. I'm going to get hit by him. I just want to check, like, all of the stuff around here. I want to reset it and try the far corner back. Well, I can't motion, but back the other way. Okay. I'm going to do it again, right? Yeah. Let's just do that really quickly. Oh, god dang this guy. 
Oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna die to him. Could you please do the freaking talent drop? Actually, you know what? No. I know for a fact that I came from that side, so no. We're good. We're good. Okay. A bit unnecessary time and, and uh, health wasting there, but it's okay. I, I just wanted to make sure, but then I remembered which angle I came from, so I think we were I think we were fine. Um, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but Mumbo Token or Extra Life would be the only thing that I could have possibly missed. I did get an Extra Life, so I don't think it's that. The only other thing I would care about would be a Mumbo Token, so again, if you know, let me know. But I think we're good. And we just completed that one. A uh, little bit longer than uh, than the than the first one. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see. Let's freeze easy peak down for 34 minutes. That was 38 minutes. That's still really good time, honestly. Swamp 42 does not surprise me. Clanker was pretty fast. Treasure Trove Cove. And of course, Mumbo's Mountain is 17 minutes. Easily the fastest. Alright, so we're going to grab the Lair Jiggy over here. That we unlocked with the switch. And then we're going to go look for the next level we need to open. Alright, to get this we're going to need jump pad how on earth did I miss that there we go got it all right seven of the layer jiggies already uh is this the way Back into the... Yeah, 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 this place. Okay. Now, the question is... Do I go this way? Or do I go up that other path? This is where I unlocked... Gobi's Valley. That goes to another area. There's Brutal over there. Um... I want to double check something first, because I'm not 100% sure. Let's run our way up here. We can open this easily, because what do we have? 600. No, we cleared six levels. So that's great. Um, what's up here? I think there's a cauldron in here. Is it? Yeah, it's called him. Hey. How you doing? I don't even know if we have that one yet. I could jump in to find out, I guess. No, we don't have you yet. Your your other half. Okay. Um oh, and that's Brutilda. Something back here though, isn't there? Extra life. I knew there was something. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Can I get up here? Nope. Don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. Uh, okay. Okay, so I think we need to go in here. It's this way or the other way. There's only two paths we have. Oh. Um. Right. Right. Hmm. Now I'm not so sure. Which one leads to the next maps or the next levels jigsaw puzzle? Uh, I'll check over here first. Think this might be the right way. of a swim. Very blue. Very blue indeed. A 
Eh. Is this the right thing? I think so. The Q piranha guy. Okay. Make our way around here and see if this is the right one. It is indeed beautiful. Okay, so guys, this is what is it my favorite? It's like right up there with probably my favorite level in the game, and it's because of the music. I love Mad Monster Mansion. It's so good. Okay, so we have to go through that other thing that we unlocked, or the other path that we saw, whatever. Oh no, oh, now I gotta do it all over again. There's a freaking mumbo token in there, and you know I have to get it. I'm a... Uh... <sighs> OCD about this game and not getting everything but um but anyway yeah so we need to go the other way to get that Can't remember if I'm full health that's why I did it killed that thing I mean where'd that health go hi Eh, thank you. I think I was full health actually, but it's fine. Okay, where's the way out? Down here. Alright, so that is pretty much going to do it, guys. Um, I'm just going to get us back to the main area here. But, uh,. Yeah, that's another successful session of Banjo-Kazooie. I'm super happy with it. We got a lot done again. And, uh... Let's see. This is an area that leads to another level, which is not one of my favorites. <laughs> but it is what it is. Anyway, um, but yeah, we got a lot done. And uh, it makes me happy. Because I love playing this game, and playing it sort of, kind of, well. <laughs> Alright, so we're back in this area, and I think the entrance to Mad Monster Mansion is going to be through here. And I just want to confirm that before we wrap, so. But yeah, for those of you seeing this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you're new. And uh, hopefully you've been enjoying it. We're gonna run past this. Oh my god. I just died. It's because the camera wouldn't turn, and then it turned all of a sudden, which changed my trajectory, and because I was talon trotting, it was so fast. Cause like here, then all of a sudden the camera turned and I veered. Ah, oh, it makes me mad. Anyway. But I'm pretty sure... Yeah, here we go. Right up there. Mad Monster Mansion. I am so excited. Alright guys, I will see you next time where we dive into that level and what lies beyond. See you guys then. Bye!